Here's how to make a completely procedural moon surface inside of Blender in a few seconds. Add a plane, adjust the scale, and add geometry nodes. Add some subdivisions to the plane, then add a Voronoi texture. Divide the position vector to adjust the scale. Add a map range node and a math node set to subtract. Use these to get the circle shapes for the creators. Then add a set position node and use this Voronoi texture as the offset. Multiply it with a vector math node on the z axis to define the shape of our crater. I'm going to grab these points to create a shape like this. Let's add a noise texture. Use a math node to add it on top of the Voronoi texture. Adjust the scale and the detail. Use a math node set to multiply to adjust the strength of the noise. Let's use the noise to distort the shape of the crater. Add a mix RGB node to the Voronoi texture and mix it with the noise texture. Set it to linear light and use a low value. Now we can create smaller craters by duplicating the Voronoi texture setup and adding it on top of the other one. Decrease the scale of the Voronoi texture and decrease the strength with a multiply node. You can duplicate it one more time to add another layer of smaller craters. Remove the world shader and add a sunlight. To bring the same setup to the shader, use a store attribute node. Set it from float to vector and store the position, because the same position node doesn't exist in the shader. Now we can copy this whole node setup, create a new material and paste in all the nodes. Now we can add in our position attribute. Now let's reassemble our textures. Let's use a mix node to mix between the small and the big crater. Let's add the small ones together. Now we can control how much these small craters have an influence on the color map. Let's also mix in our noise texture and let's add a color ramp and randomize the values a little bit like this. So this is going to be our base color and let's increase the roughness. Let's add in some bump. Add a bump node and use the noise texture for the height. Increase the distance a bit and let's add in another bump node. And use the small craters this time. Now it looks more detailed than the mesh actually is. Check out my tutorials on YouTube for more tutorials and if you want a longer version of this tutorial to follow along.